Six months ago, Selena tested her relationship with Justin using the love calculator. She sent Cupid 13, her name Selena, and her partner's name Justin to 755-55. It didn't look good, but she didn't listen. Text now and get your result and this sweet wallpaper. <laughs> Just send Cupid 13, your name and the name of your partner to 755-55. Or go to Jamster.com to subscribe and get up to 20 products like games for $9.99 a month. And I'm really concerned about your situation of what we spoke about last night. I want you to tell everyone what's happening with you. All right. Well, my film is called Dreaming American, and um, it's based on a true story about a young uh, immigrant trying to make his way in New York, trying to build his dream, do all the things that, that people try to do. And uh, just as he's about to achieve his dream in the movie, um, he comes up against the immigration system. So it's really, it's a, it's a dramatic film, but it's based on a true story. And the lead actor in the film is actually the young man upon whose life it's based. So... Um, uh, it's a film about immigration, and what happened was on his way to the Hamptons Film Festival, uh, he was taken off an Amtrak train coming from Los Angeles. Um, as they did, a, they swept through the train just checking everybody's papers, and now is in detention in Buffalo awaiting deportation. So, you know, we're all very upset to think that this talented young man who has been an inspiration to all of us and really uh, a great contribution uh, not only to my film but to the artistic uh, life of the country is now in danger of being deported, and if they succeed in deporting him, uh, he can't come back. Right, well, in doing my research, my main concern isn't, obviously we love talent and we love passion, my concern is the story. between us is like marshmallow. <laughs> 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 Do an I-9, fill in your social security, your passport. Sugar, this is strictly a cash business. We're all in, or should I say, off the same boat. Relationships is crazy, baby. Trust me, this is country or nothing. Everything in life will live ain't always what you bargain for. Uh -huh. People change, see the game. You might have even had a vision. Right. Lust over love is just good people making bad decisions. Right. So call friends a jerk, you bring them in your inner circle. Once they learn your weaknesses, right. that's when they begin to hurt you. It was very dangerous for him, of course, in Albania. His family was uh, anti-communist, and once the communists fell in Albania, then the new government was all of the same people, uh, just sort of in a new costume, if you will. So it was very dangerous for him and his family. Uh, his brother was just given asylum by the United States. Uh, and because he couldn't leave, uh, because once you leave, you can't come back in if you don't have your papers, uh, both of his parents uh, have passed away in the 11 years he's been in the United States. So he had to watch from a distance as they grew ill and he was unable to nurse them or to go back and bury them. Uh, so it's been a very difficult situation all the way around. And, and the point of the film and the point of him wanting to tell his story and the point of him wanting to speak with you, as he uh, was very excited to hear I was doing uh, when I spoke with him in jail. Thank you. 
uh, is you know, not just his case, which we are very concerned about, but the many millions of people who face this same situation uh, every day. You know, that's very interesting that you say that because I'm a melting pot and I love individuals from other countries. So a lot of the individuals that I know have had immigration issues or are having immigration issues and they have something so much to give. And many of this isn't because I want to live the American dream. It's a problem politically that's going on in their country why they need to be here. What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, that's exactly true. Uh, it's very, very dangerous. Now, again, I can just speak in the case of Prack, my lead actor uh, and inspiration for the film. Um, you know, it's dangerous in that country. It's a very conservative country. It has a, um, uh, a history of being a police state. And even though it's now putting forward an image as a democracy as it tries to join the EU, it is, in fact, a very dangerous place. What is your take on America in a situation like this? Well, you know, it's been often said, I suppose, that, that we are, in, in fact, a nation of immigrants. And there are only a few of us who can claim uh, native status. And we've grown strong. There was a time when the Irish and the Italians were thought of as, as unwelcome and, and terrible people, and, and yet their contribution to the culture is obvious. Um, and I think we just have to be much more open. I think we only, diversity is strength. And there's, I, I can't think of a single situation where diversity, uh, especially in this country, in this culture, uh, has caused us to be weak. And I think we need to um, be open and open to the people who come to us and all of the good that they bring and how they provide an economic engine for the growth and the development of the country. You know, our greatest scientists uh, fled Nazi Germany, for example. You know, Albert Einstein, Werner von Braun, the whole rocket program, all of that, all of those things that put America at the forefront in the 20th century, created the, the American century. Um, a lot of them, I should say, not all of them, came from people who uh, were immigrants. It is about one man who comes to the United States and he really works hard and he, he gets his big break and then he's confronted. Look, you blew your chances when you used that forged passport, that's all I'm saying. Screw you, they said it would work. A lot of people don't understand how hard it is to come here and build your life and you'd be here like, there are people that have been here for 20 years and they haven't seen their families. There's these bars in the East Village you can get paid to dance. He doesn't because he needs the money. We took the screenplay to a number of people, many of whom I didn't know, uh, who found that they related to the screenplay and to the story. Harvey Schroeder, with whom I've worked over the years, uh, has generously signed on as the executive producer and that opened a lot of doors for us and he's been very supportive and enthusiastic. What I liked was the screenplay was really uh, written for the screen, so it looked like a movie. Hello, boys. Who do we have? You hear me too, so I got laid. <laughs> How nice for you. Got late. Got late. Was late. Was late. He wants to, to become an actor. He goes to school, he studies, he gets auditions. Then he can't do it because one thing stops him is the papers. Our story, the different cultures don't really butt heads, but the different cultures kind of mesh in a very natural way. It's really the legal system that imposes itself between the people. It's very hard, you know, because you kind of like go back to those dark days again, like where some people just try to pass those dark days and, you know, go for it. You bring shame to our entire family. You're just a bum. <coughs> Never come home again. I felt it was a true, a true story. I'm always attracted to true characters and true stories because somehow it always ends up on the the screen. Lee, why don't you tell us um, the transition from editing? You've edited many of my favorite films like Salt. That's true. And Boys Don't Cry and Maria Full of Grace. Independence and studio films. I kind of uh, straddle that gap. Tell me about your process in making this dynamic piece, your filmmaking background to getting into this directing project. All right. Uh, you know, it came about very naturally because uh, I met Prack. Uh, actually, I was at a sort of an industry party in New York, uh, and he was a caterer. Actors are all caterers, right? And um, he figured out who I was, and in the course of the evening, you know, we engaged in a conversation about film and things. And uh, he came up to me at one point and said, you're going to make a film about my life. And I said, uh, okay, well, um, write down the things in your life that you think would make a good film, sort of in the hope of getting rid of him, but he's tenacious. 
and uh, we sat down and we talked about his life and actually was very moved by his story and also found it very cinematic and saw how um, you know, as a writer, I could relate to the experiences since I had trained as an actor and, and there were similarities as well. So, are you going to get into now directing feature films? Uh, yeah, we're making a feature of this film. We're developing it right now and I have another uh, feature that I'm working on. So, you know, I enjoy editing. I'll keep that as, as part of my life. But, uh, you know, it's been a nice transition into filmmaking. As I say, I was studied acting and editing certainly is a great um, way to learn about filmmaking. So. It's been a great transition for me. So you're a renaissance man in the film industry. I don't think that anyone would probably say that, but it's nice of you to say it. Acting, editing, directing, <laughs> and also making a difference. Yeah, well, I hope so. That's really why we made the film. You know, uh, We want to entertain, and I think it is an entertaining film, but we really wanted to put one human face on the immigrant so that you see one man, what he goes through, uh, his emotions, his ups, his downs, and that you can relate to that. And then maybe the next time you hear about immigration or you see somebody who looks different, uh, you'll remember that face and uh, the many, many, many faces that are the immigrants in this country. Going through tough times and hardships are medical expenses, car repairs, or just too many bills stressing you out. Need $200, $300, or even $1,000 overnight? I have the answer. ValleyTrust.com can find you a lender to get up to $1,000 in your checking account by tomorrow. And don't worry if your credit isn't perfect. Our lenders approve people with bad credit or no credit all the time. You just have to be at least 18 years old and have a regular income of $800 a month. When you're going through a hard time, you need to find a solution. Valley Trust provides you with an easy way to get short-term cash fast. With Valley Trust, you don't have to worry about bounced checks, overdraft charges, and late fees. Valley Trust is committed to safely guarding your personal information, and we partner with the nation's most trusted and compliant lenders. Ease your troubles. Let Valley Trust help solve your problems and relieve your headaches. Visit our website today.